That's what they want. Beach bum. If you, you could, if you could be built like Banks or Bumstead right now, Banks. Who's? Really? Banks. <sighs> Would you rather but be built like classic also, physique no athletes? Sport. No one follows classic, bro. Bumstead has more yeah, followers than everybody. No one follows men's physique. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I think you meant like classic. No, well, last thing that I want to say. I bet everything that I have on my plate, then 90% of men's physique train harder than classic physique. I bet everything in my mind and power that it's true. Yeah. All right, you guys, what's going on? I'm Joe Andrews. We're here at the Young LA Gym. We're gonna hit a leg day workout. My specialty, I love leg day, and it's Monday, so you already know, we gotta start off the week strong. Uh, waiting on Dorian to get here, but I'm gonna do a little warm up. You guys, show you guys like what I do to just warm up until Dorian gets here, and then we're gonna hit the ground running. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, let's get it, baby. To warm up, I usually, if I'm doing squats, barbell squats, I like to get on here, just the bar and kind of find my range of motion, trying to get all the way down deep into the hole and then explode up. And this kind of like is a determining thing whether or not we're gonna have like a heavy day or kind of like a volume day. More lighter weight, more reps on that. But we're feeling pretty good. I already did a set, but I just wanna show you guys really quick. So this is kind of how like I move on my warmups because warmups should be treated just like a working set, in my opinion. You shouldn't just get in here and just kind of like whoo or just squat as fast as you can, just like warm up really feel those muscles like working and those fibers breaking down so this is the pace you should be doing as a warm-up the thing i like about young la's gym is they got these big road plates so when you're on camera, it literally looks cool. Dude, this guy's strong shit. There he is. There he is. Wait. Jeez. I have something. I have something Fuck. because of Joe. I never wore this, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, I just, did a, I just did a thing on how to put it on. You literally need to teach me because I don't know how to put it on. Looks like you ha Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you I'm not going to lie, bro. I can saw you, the picture. I was like, Dorian needs help putting bro, on Bro, I don't know how to do that. You need a tight on your head. Can you, can you do that for me? This is the first time, actually second Look, time. He's like, actually I got took a mirror selfie. He's actually got it folded pretty nice. <laughs> you can put it like you, uh, above my uh, ears. Since I have a- You just got a haircut. Yeah. The fuck you putting a bandana on for? Because of you, so we like match, you know? <laughs> We're waiting for this guy to get here because his damn haircut, now he puts the bandana. Go you on. kidding me? All right, here, you need to put this on your forehead how you want to put position it. That's where you want it? Yeah. I've never done this. I've never done this for anybody. Really? The hell? Maybe I'm gonna start wearing it. Looks like it. a Croatian mobster. Now we can lift like at least three plates more than. This guy more. looks like he should be on a motorcycle. <laughs> What's up, young liberal? Did he already said the intro? Yeah, here is the most aesthetic and the craziest leg guy in uh, Young LA. Hey, don't squat my headphones. Today we're gonna be running Joe's leg workout, which <laughs> if you follow his leg workouts, you're probably gonna have a tree trunk, so. Following my workout for the first exercise, and then we're gonna do Dorian. We're gonna go back and forth. This is the first, like, first you're doing right now? First exercise. Okay, perfect. Barbell yeah, we'll straight in, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, by, by the way, five weeks out, so don't count my strength today. Five weeks out already? Already. I thought it was like nine weeks like yesterday. Wait, five and a half. Five, and a, five weeks and uh, three days. Five weeks and three days, South Carolina. South Carolina. A pro card in that one? Yeah, that's yeah. national, yeah. Damn. Damn. And on that show, by the way, is Anthony's competing, Mantello. He just, he just competed, didn't he? Yeah, he needed to qualify for that one. Uh, I'm already qualified. Uh, Trent wins, I think. So it's gonna be a good show. Like most of the young LA people is gonna be there, so that's gonna be cool. Dude, if, it's if, possible. If, if, if Ant wins his pro card, which yeah. I think he'll win. Yeah. He looks fucking crazy. Yeah. He looks really good. Yeah. He did. He actually. You should win yours. He won overall everything but the men's physique. I know. He came yeah. Second, huh? So. Like, and he's usually men's men's physique. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see how. I think it's, it's a sign, bro. I think it's a time for you to fucking graduate. Time for me to take over, bro. If it I don't. It seems get like this all move. these physique guys are jumping to classic, man. Yeah. And they're doing well. Yeah, true. I don't have legs for that. That's why we're working with uh, Joe today. So. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Let's fucking go. Maybe I'll swap this to classic in like 33 years, you know? No 
belt. No belt today. No headphones, just straight raw dog in here. I need, I need any. I know, you're impressed. I'm just gonna answer that every single time. You're impressed. You not gotta fair, do it. And they chose the leg day. That's not, not the fair. Not fair. Okay. Okay, here we go. You want to go any heavier than this? If you want, I can probably push three right now. Three for like, yeah. How many reps? Ten, ten maybe. We'll just do sets of ten. Okay. Cool. So you want to go up? Oh, I went like straight into the numb, like because I didn't warm up or anything. Shock in the body. That's what that's called. <laughs> the nervous system, bro. That's how we grow. That's how you grow. Shock the body. That's already a big boy weight. I'm gonna put my pussy sleeves. Listen, I played soccer for 15 years. My knees are blown out. No excuses, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Here we go. How many sets? How many wins? Ten. Five sets. Five sets of Way too here. Try. You know, that's why I like to work out. Actually, you should work out with the people that are better than you in some things. Like, everyone has a different approach. I've been, I work out with Devin, for example, Banks for a back, which has the best back in the world. He was doing up to five reps on each exercise, for example, which is surprising for me. It's crazy seeing, seeing a back like that and doing only five reps with a heavy weight. But doing only five reps and keeping kind of that, for me that's weird, but for him it works, right? So like, if you try to work out with multiple people here and there, you'll find actually what works the best for you. Or if you don't have anyone to work out with that's better than you or you think the best, then you try multiple different variations of a workout and then you find what works the most. Because you gotta do, even Honey said, the Honey Rumble said that every two, every five to six workouts, you should change your workout routine for, the, for that body part. Which kind of makes sense. Again, that's shocking, the, you know, the, so that comes volume or high weight, lower weight, more volume, you know, more sets, more reps, less sets, heavier weight. Gotta try it out, I guess. Shock the body. Notes. Shock the body. This is definitely not light. That's for sure. Maybe for you. Every five to six days, you need to change it up. You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's not light. It's a good working set, I yeah. think. Yeah. For me, that's probably like honestly right now. That's the tops. So like ten sets. It's like. Let me ask you a question really quick before I start this, and there's gonna be a quick question, quick answer. Okay. Should I stand up? No, you sit. <laughs> <laughs> when you do any workout, any workout. Do you start with a compound, or do you usually like what do you what do you like to start with? Uh, which uh, depends which muscle group. Depends which muscle group. If I chest. chest, I start with the flies always, so it's not a big moment. Okay. I like to first warm up, right? Like kind stretch. Of in there. Yeah, like full stretch as much as I can. Not even a heavy weight. And then second and third one are my heaviest. Okay. Immediately, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And pretty much similar with every every exercise, I will say with the legs. I always start with the hamstrings. I saw that from Chris Bumstead because it takes less impact on your knees if you warm up your hamstrings. And then again, third usually, second, third exercise are my biggest movement. And then I come back again to more like volume and like pushing as much as I can. But do you, when you do those uh, kind of like accessory movements, like for legs, like doing hamstrings first, is that kind of like just like warm up like type of like movement or are you going like that's, that's, a, that's like I an actual like exercise? Two, two, three sets warm up and then like I go. For that? Yeah. So would you say that, do you think that that may 
do something that when you get to something like this, like you, you're a little bit more fatigued? Maybe, but a little bit. Maybe it's like 5% less, just because it's totally different. I mean, you do use hamstrings as well on, a, on that, but it's a second, second, that's why I like to keep second exercise. Yeah. as my kind of highest, right? So like because I'm kind of warmed up already, so I can immediately go and like put, instead of starting with a bar, I'm starting with the two plates immediately on the squats, for example. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like slowly, slowly go up. And Good thing we're changing it up today. And no cardio to start, because and I know no you do that for 10 minutes. That's my, uh, so I need to do 10 minute cardio time. and hamstring curls, and yeah. then you do your compound. So today we're, today we're switching it up. Now there is one thing when you're in a prep, you're strong, strong, strong until you're not. <laughs> you know when you get the plea when all the cows go out, it's done bro. <laughs> That's very true. You down to do five sets? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a lot bro already. 50 reps at 315? That's that's a work, work that, If you think you're strong, try try just that part. And try that with like proper form and range of motion. I'm sick of this half rep stuff. Like honestly, I want the best for you guys. I'm not saying like everybody's doing it wrong, but the way you could do it better for yourself, get the full range of motion. Really focus on that. And also not get injured. I think full range of motion, even though people think, oh, maybe it's like you go a little bit further, actually prevents the injury. Because if you're like, if you're stopping in a in point that you're not supposed to stop, then you're blocking the mouth. Then your muscles work even harder to stop in that point. And then the break can happen. You know what I mean? Uh, yep. That last rep, that's how he actually works out. That's how we do everything. <laughs> actually, I might do that on the last set. I, I know I'm not gonna do that. The only reason why I'm in this video is just to prove that men's physique also do train legs. What happens if a, a day comes where they start judging legs for men's physique? They did now, from this year. They shortened down the board shorts for two inches so they can see your quads. There's a new rule. But it's still irrelevant. The only reason why they did that is to see proportions. Not because they want to be, see big legs. Men's physique will never get to the point they judge the legs. Now when you do this and you're, you're body weight is 200 pounds and you have 160 pounds in upper body and no legs. That's what they don't want to see. No matter how good you are in upper part, they want to see proportions. So if your arms needs to be proportional with your legs, that's the only reason, pretty much. So if you have a too small leg compared to your upper body, you're not going to be in the shows, but you don't have to have a crazy legs. It's different when- That might be why people are going to classic. Yeah, well- Because if they don't look for legs, because I feel like when you have legs, like you automatically go like this. Yeah, like that's how your like physique looks like this yeah. because they're judging here and here So it's just one. It's not like we're judging this. Yeah, you know what I mean? So you're like if they start judging legs I feel like the guys that have legs and men's physique would just jump up the classic. Yeah, exactly. Like, I might I might not get points because my legs are built exactly and it's taken away from my upper body kind of like what I was telling Niall before I was always bottom dominant my body looked like this like my shoulders sloped and then it was kind of like this, boom. And I was always bottom heavy. And then I kind of brought up my upper body, so now my legs look more proportioned to my body. So that's better for me. Yeah. But if, you, if I were to be like, shit, I don't have legs, but I have big upper body, and then I brought my legs up, I feel like I'd like lose points. Yeah. It's, at the end of the day, every, every division is all about proportions. That's why I like men's physique. Because yeah. there, we go, there we go, there's a typical example, right? Anthony Mattel just competed. One overall in a open bodybuilding, one overall. One overall in classic, 
And second place though in men's physique. Second. That's what I'm saying. But why? Because men's physique is all up like I'll, you're bigger than me. I'll beat you any day in men's physique. Yeah, 100%. Because it's 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 like it's really genetics. It's nothing else but gen like they wanna fucking it's your shape. But yeah, it's men's physique is freaking beauty pageant. It's really a beauty pageant, but mus muscular beauty, beauty as, as much as muscle you can put on yourself to still look aesthetic. That's why I like men's physique because in the end of the day, I will say that 90% of the people actually wanna look like men's physique athletes rather than classic or open. You know what I mean? Comment down below if you agree. Because if in the real life, it wants to be close to that like aesthetics, like no one cares so much like a bit. Oh yeah, who's, I mean, who's Mr. Olympia in men's physique? Erin. Well, not anymore actually. Erin Banks or so Ron Terry. Okay, so right you now. mean I'm not I'm not gonna go back and forth, but do you mean to under do you mean to tell me that more people want to look like Ryan Terry than Chris Bumstead? Re like normal people, normal people, hundred percent, hundred percent, normal. I've been talking about normal people, not b people that are bodybuilding, right? Bodybuilding people that go in the gym. I think he's biased. Chris Bumstead, hundred yeah. percent, Chris, hundred percent. I'm saying normal people that that sits in a house and like they see his beach body. That's what they want, beach body. If you normal. could, if you could be built like Banks. Or Bumstead right now. Thanks. Really? Thanks. <laughs> I just like that, bro. You yeah, look, you're you look, you're but, you're, but you look goofy in the clothes when you're so big. You you're like this, bro. Like it's just like it depends on how you dress. I also want to look normal in the builders be dressing. I also want to look normal in the in the real life. You know what I mean? Like I can wear skinny jeans if I want, or or like oversized tees and shit like that. Because once I wear oversized tees, bro, it's like this, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything is like tight. They look like I don't know. I don't. I never wanted to be too big. I never wanted that. Yeah. I just want to be like aesthetic, athletic. Athletic is athletic. the word. Athletic's athletic is the, the best word. way to go. Athletic Honestly, the word, yeah. That's what I said. They should come out with a fucking division that is ath mean. athletic bodybuilding yeah whereas not only are you showcasing what you can present boom but you also have to showcase that in like some sort of action running yeah your speed I agree. I your agree. jump all of that shit like it brings some athletic into it instead of just walking up on stage and going boom or boom because like the more practice you take doing that you can get better but like to be an all-around Mr. Fucking Olympia, I feel like you should be like an absolute gladiator. You know what I mean? I agree. See that muscle move. Everyone comment below, like who is like, who would you like to look like? Yes. What, what would you? I want to hear this fucking too. And okay, it's not fair because younger, no, 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 but whoever is maybe not so much still in it. Anyways, put a comment down below. Yeah, like, what below. would you be favorite to see? Do you want to be like huge guy, fucking messy, or do you want to be more like aesthetic and like shredded? You can't fucking put it like that. You just positioned it to make it seem like being okay. huge and big. Do you want to be bad. huge and shredded or aesthetic and shredded? Do you want to be, would you rather look like classic physique or men's physique? That's the, that's the best way to put it. And that's the most unbiased. Would you rather but be built like classic also, physique no athletes? Sport. No one follows classic, bro. Bumps that has more yeah, followers but, than everything. No one follows men's physique. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I think you meant like classic. No, because that's when you when you say men's physique, people are like, oh, those people don't have legs. Well, you then, know what I mean? Because like, well, people, then that's you know your I mean. answer. That's your answer. But that's not true. Because more people follow that because they're more interested in. Oh, but that's hundred percent. I agree. You know? I agree with that. So but it's not because it's not because of hey, division. It's because of who is in division. Let's put it this way. Men's, your men's physique. Yeah. I'm not even claiming fucking bodybuilding. I'll just do it because I feel like I'd be good at it. You know? But I'm your men's physique, you got to stand up for who you, your your category. No, I like both. You know what I mean, I, I like respect. both. I just think what's personal. You know, like I respect. Even it. though, I, even if I want to be classic, I will never be able because I can't my, build my legs. I respect anyways. it even more if you do a slow, steady tempo and get full range of motion on this last set right here. Then I might say. I would say it's a deal, but I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So then I might say that. Men's physique is ideal. You don't think men, like Darren Banks looks crazy? I've always been a leg guy, man. Because okay, I've always had enough. legs. So fair like enough. that's why I can't see it. Fair enough, fair because enough. when I see, and I'm not going to name any names at all. I judge a physique from the ankle up, not from the waist up. So like, to me, I'm like, okay, anybody can go in the gym. And I don't want this to be like, a, like I'm talking down. But like anybody can go and really put emphasis on their upper body and build that. But the days that people don't want to do is legs. Yeah. They don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So knowing that, knowing that, I feel like it's easier for someone to get into men's physique as a beginner. 
the last Nazi thing that I want to say. In the class. I bet my ass. I bet everything that I held my plate. The 90% of men's physique train harder than classic physique. I bet everything in my mind and power that it's true. The only difference because I train with everyone, bro. I train he with everyone. He just said I it. Even he banks, bro. Was the trainer I, hard? Okay, no, no. He trains hard. It's just I train with everyone. I just don't count. I don't count him. He's a champion, but he's. A I train with. I train even Chris Bumstead, bro. I've been there when he trained. I, I saw everyone how they train. The difference between when you just said like upper body is genetics. That's why people choose once again men's physique or they choose legs. Someone gets born like fucking Joe Andrews with the tree trunks and someone born like me with the fucking sticks and then you can't build your legs for ages or he goes to the gym, lifts two times two plates on our squats and has a huge legs. That's a difference bro. It's in genetics. It's not the way to work because you can even if you go so much in the gym you're still not gonna have men's physique shape because that's not your genetics or opposite. No matter how hard I work my legs, I will never have legs like yours. Never. No matter how much PDs I put in my body, no matter, I'm never gonna have your legs. I can work out 10 times harder than you in the gym. You can, so let's say I don't, you, I work for a whole year my legs, you don't work for a whole year. You will still have better legs than I do. Is that true or not? Uh, a year? A year, bro? A year. You still have bigger legs than me. Because know. you use them, bro. You use them still. If you know I don't, I mean? if I don't like take anything and shit, like you know, if they, if I just, like, let, let's have you a boat on nothing or on everything, right? It's irrelevant. Let me counter this, and then we'll get back to the workout. There is some true in my what I said. Bro. No, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, what you're saying is true. I'm not trying to fucking say anything. All I'm saying is, is though that when it comes down to the men's physique and the classic physique and even open. I really, really, really feel like, and I know you're big on this, so don't jump at me, don't cut my head off for this, but listen, I truly believe, because I've been on one side of it and the other side of it, and I've also seen people been on one side and the other side, so I'm not talking about my personal experience with my coach and shit like that and anything, but I will say, I believe wholeheartedly that someone who is training on their own to get better, and they're really about it, they're not just coming in here, is training harder than any coach would have them train because I know for a fact that watching these programs and shit, everyone's on a program if they're yeah. with the coach yeah. and they're gonna do what the coach tells them to do. Mm -hmm. There's times where you're in the gym and you're like, ah oh, man, I, really I, I feel like I could go harder, yeah. but I'm not, he's not 100%. letting me. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So I think that too might kind of alter the way people, the, the definition of who trains harder because I would say, in my opinion, if I came to the gym and did my leg day, I'm training harder than everybody else. Yeah. That's on prep, on a program, and shit like that. But then again, it's like, how, how could you say I'm not training harder than everybody else? Yeah. Because you're on a program, so no, you have to I, stick to I, it. I 100% agree, that's, that's totally true. That's, not, that's not, not though what I tried to say. What I tried to say is like someone sees me, like I have a physique that's, that kind of people wants to have, right? The thing is, no matter how hard you work, you can work out 10 times harder, you're never gonna look like me. Yeah. And opposite. No matter how hard I hit my legs, I'm never gonna have these legs. That's what I was trying to say, you know what I mean? So those people that you said, like, they can go as much as they can in the gym. And I don't, I can work half of their capacity, what I'm doing, and I'm still gonna beat them in, on the stage. Because I have a better genetics in that case. You know, that's, that's, that's the whole point of that. So I don't think men's physique train less or they train harder or anything, it's just different. They don't build muscle as fast as someone with better genetics like you. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? And that's why they're in men's physique. That's why, because their legs are smaller and they can't build them. Which doesn't mean I destroy my legs. I still can't grow them as close as you, you know what I mean, so. Facts, facts, facts. So we can agree that like, classic physique is a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree, bro. I just love, no, I'm, I, I, I don't honestly, disregard anyone. I love every, I love bodybuilding. I love bodybuilding. I'd say bodybuilding is the hardest. Bro, I, I respect, I, I have a huge respect for the people that do bodybuilding. It's that's period. Like, no matter which division, it's a fucking difficult thing to do. Whatever, whoever dives in, and not, I'm not talking about training. Training is the easiest part. I'm talking about dieting. I'm talking about waking up. I'm talking about having discipline. a schedule, discipline, discipline. goal. I, I admire those people. It's probably one of the toughest sports in the world. So it doesn't matter which division. If you're competing, congrats. I love you. Keep on doing what you're doing, and that's it. <laughs> Whoever, whoever is like around 200 pounds and can do this tempo with three plates, show me, send me the video and I'll 
pay you whatever you want. They'll probably not, not anything under hundred bucks actually. That tempo, that tempo is insane, bro. No, that's crazy. This tempo with the three plates, fifth set, fifth set, fifth set, last set. I, I'm go sorry. hard the last set. I'm sorry, I ain't doing that. I, I'm on prep. Bro. Hey, do your fucking thing, baby. I have that's why I like to be a prep. I have excuse. I'm on prep, you know. Like. <laughs> he milks that excuse. <laughs> That was a small, that was a slow one. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's a wrap, you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next. That next was just time. a warm up, unfortunately. <laughs> We're back. We got hack squat now. And you already know what I'm going to say. Do you know what I'm going to say about this right now? No bend. What's this? Guys, I'm telling you guys right now, this, tell me a hack squat. When this hack squat came, and I know the Arsenal guys, when this hack squat came, did it come with a band? Does it come with a band? Does it have instructions on how to tell you to put a band on? Well, then don't do it, please. And if you do do it because your client or you're in prep or whatever it may be that you need a band, when you're done with it, put it back. There's a thing you like say without the bands or like full range of motion. And then there is a people like Sam Sulek that is currently the most famous person in the world, right? That does everything opposite that you're saying, right? But everyone's following with him. So like, that's what I wanted to say. But Sam Sulek's from Ohio, so it's okay. What's that they have to do with that? I'm to build different, bro. Say, it, dude. They're just, hey, li no, but I, bro, I'm just saying. I'm see, for him, one thing, he works like to do whatever the fuck he wants. His his technique is absolutely trash. I love Sam Sulek. Shout out Sam Sulek. But his technique is everything opposite of what I'm also preaching. Same as you. I preach his words. But I'm just saying, in today's world, bro, nothing holds the water anymore. Like literally everyone has their aspect of what is supposed to look like, what is... That's why I'm again saying that everyone's tried, need to try their own thing. If you want to work with a fucking band, do it. If you can only work with the band, do it. It's better than don't do it at all, right? I do agree you're gonna have a maybe better performance without the band. that. But again, there is examples like Sam Sulek that fucking does half reps, but he's huge. So I don't, it's, difficult not, it's difficult not to argue with everyone. You know what I mean. I do, agree with you. I do agree with you though. I do agree with you. You agree but with this because you're telling everybody it's okay, but tell everybody that you should start out using the machine as it's supposed to be used. Not to just throw the training wheels on right away. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, how do we start riding the bike? Get, get, well, we're not five years old. <laughs> <laughs> then you probably shouldn't be doing hack squat. If you don't know, how, if you can't do it without a band. Well, it's safer than a normal squat. It's safe to begin with, it's in a machine. I know. But so why do you same need time? It's like for your knees, it's safer to have a band. Name one person that literally takes this fucking serious. I don't know. I'm old school with it. I don't see trends and follow oh, it. Bodybuilders do that. It's a spot. It's it's also injury it's prevention. It's, a it's injury prevention. Let's start with no. Okay. No you want to start. start this one off? Yeah. Okay. That's what I saw from him, and I actually feel comfortable because I think my hips feel more comfortable when I do like this. So again, all depends on the people. Joyce, you're doing like this, right? You stand pretty much like this. Like, you can do the same exercise with the multiple different variations. It's like calves. Calves for calves. Calves exactly. is the ultimate. You're here. You're obviously hitting like them all together, right? You could come here and go up, and you're hitting more of like that Out of outside. Yeah. And then you put your heels together and come up, and you're hitting more of the inside. So switching up your angles, your foot placement on everything, guys, is is huge. You should be doing that because the more you just keep doing the same thing. Sooner or later you're gonna get fatigued and then you're gonna start dipping in somewhere else for like an energy source and it's not really gonna be hitting targeting that muscle. So switch up your stances a little bit, even on squats, leg press, machines, your toe placement when you come to a, a, an extension coming here with your toe up can put more tension there. Putting your toe down is gonna bring it up, up more here for your leg extension. So guys, always play around with that. Feel yourself while you're training and uh, yeah, watch Dorian do this because he's good. Mm -hmm. Coming from the quad, King, King himself. I like this. Mm. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Mm. Even though it's nothing, I still feel it. Like you, you can it's go. A, it's a good little quad. You guys know what the teardrop is? It's like this much. Mm. You can feel the yeah. You can feel the stretch like. 
Yeah, when you go down, the stretch is up here. You look, I can touch my knees almost. <clears throat> Dude, it gets hard when you get like deep into the set, keeping your hips up. Tell me that's yeah, not yeah, like the yeah, hard yeah. Th This last one was, my hips went down a little bit. Cause if you're doing sissy squats like this, guys, whether you're doing a body weight, whether you're doing it on a machine, the key is, is to keep your hips up and keep them locked out like there and keep your core tight. Because the second you let your core go, you saw that on the last rep. It kind of yeah. like was like, oh, it's not. Yep, yep. So if you keep that your hips up and your core tight the whole way up, you're driving through. And everything, yeah, everything goes. So that's a big, big key is pay attention to keeping your hips up because it's, e it's so easy to let them fall. But if you let them fall, especially in that position, coming up, no bueno. So like, honestly guys, pay attention to your form. No bueno. He's twice it's bump, but he's doing fast, bro. <laughs> oh. This is unfamiliar machine for 99% of the men over here. Actually, this machine sucks. Bro. Actually, the dead muscle is unfamiliar for 99% of the men. <laughs> we need a seated, we need a seated calf raise. That's like the things right here, and you sit in there and. You get one of these. But like this bar right here is just like dead box. Bro. It's a buzzkill, bro, because like yeah. you can't get deep. It's a buzzkill. Because this just blocks it. Literally. Big buzzkill, man. Yeah, dude. Got the greatest buzz going on with this leg day. And we get the calves and it's like, tch. why'd this one? Why this one? Why'd they have to show up? This exercise, like, you don't even have to film me. Firstly, I yeah, have joggers, bro. <laughs> Secondly, I'm man's physique. <laughs> How many reps, million? Yeah, just as many as you feel like it. <laughs> Remember how we were talking about the angles? So first set, I was kind of here, and then I, I transitioned to this right here to kind of come here so the toes out. We'll bring it more into here. Toes in, we'll bring it more out here. And then toes together, just kind of like overall. So if we're doing four sets, I'm here for the first set. I'll come here for the second set, third set, and back to here for four sets. So we'll just go to the third set right now, to here, so you guys can see this working on the outside. We did, this is the last set. First set was here, like I said. Second set, we showed this, but that was actually the third set. Fourth set, we'll go back to here, but 
Just stick to this. You know, let's see. Bro, you have a bigger, I swear, a bigger cows in my arms. So we're gonna sure. turn turn the toes outwards. Focus on this part now. That's a wrap, you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Leg day, this was a little bit more of like, kind of a conversational leg day, you know what I mean? A little classic versus physique leg day. And this honestly- This is more like introduction. So this channel is all about knowing us athletes, right? Obviously we both work out, so he's someone knowledgeable. I'm men's physique, he's classic. So this was more kind of like, more like to get to know us, right? But if you actually wanna see the full workout, maybe in depth, maybe Joe explaining like, sets, reps, whatever you want to put the comments down below because Eric behind the camera, he's gonna probably film whatever you guys say. The most important is to comment down below because we are listening what you guys want and at the end of the day, we're gonna film exactly that. Thank you for all, all the support, you guys. Young LA, like I said, we just keep going like this and like this and like this and like this. So subscribe to the channel. You, you already know we're gonna blow this up and um, stay tuned for the next video. I don't know who it's gonna be, but you already know these athletes are crazy here. So <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy one. And we'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Peace out.